Is Ben Shapiro ducking Candace Owens? Because I can't see it the other way around. Candace, yeah. she's not yeah. afraid of nobody. She will say whatever the she's f*** she wants to say. Enough. She will debate any yeah. single person. She'll go out there and do it, mm -hmm. right? Ben Shapiro is dating co uh, debating college kids. Yeah. Let's just be honest, yeah. right? It's like anytime he debates somebody who's like worthy, he either gets washed or bare minimum stalemate. I've never seen him actually win a debate against somebody who's like educated in the matter. We have literally tens of millions of people in the United States who are afraid that the cancel culture is coming for them. And cancel culture does exist. Okay, so what this results in very, very often is corporations looking to cram down a particular viewpoint on you and then cancel you. When it comes to the hosts on The Daily Wire, obviously everyone is able to say what they want. But the reality is that there is an Overton window at The Daily Wire. There, there are polls out there that show that a vast majority of Americans in every single political group, including liberals, feel like they cannot say what they want to say in public because they're afraid that they are going to be canceled, fired, cast out from polite society. This actually happened to a socialist moron named Nathan Robinson. He got canceled from The Guardian. And he said he got canceled from The Guardian because he had put up some anti-Israel tweets. Okay, now I think he's an idiot. I think that his views on Israel are abhorrent, but I don't think that he should lose his columnist slot over at The Guardian. That's a different story, obviously, when mm. it comes to any publisher. Any publisher gets to make decisions about what it wishes to, uh, what it wishes to purvey and not. He certainly would not defend anybody on the other side who got canceled. In fact, he has repeatedly said cancel culture does not exist. Okay, it does exist. The fact that there are people out there who want you to lose your job for the sin of saying things they don't agree with is extraordinarily real. And it is happening on a moment by moment basis. You know, the, the Daily Wire is a, a publisher, not a platform. Publishers obviously have to decide what sort of things they wish to pay for the publication of. And uh, and when it comes to, you know, you know hosts and, and publishers, you know, parting ways, obviously there will be a non meeting of the minds. That's pretty much all I can say on that. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there was a non-meeting of the minds. That's pretty much all I can say on this. Ooh, uh, I'm going to have to say that again. I guess Candace Owens did a remarkable job of unmasking who Ben Shapiro really is. Is it that you censor speech at the Daily Wire or you don't? Because you just quite literally said you don't do it, but there is a, uh, you know, a ceiling, you know, so to speak. What is that ceiling? And if I'm being completely honest with y'all, I'm still trying to figure out how all of this started in the first place. I'm hearing that it's because of, you know, uh, anti-Israel or anti-Semitic comments. I'm also hearing that it's because she said that, you know, Christ is king or Jesus is king. Uh, and as a God-fearing man myself, I don't think that that particular phrasing should result in her being fired. I feel like religion is should be off the table in terms of your beliefs. I also don't believe that you should push your beliefs on people. But what's what's wrong with with with, with uh, having conviction within your beliefs? You know, publicly, hey man, I'm a God fearing man. I'm a God fearing woman. Christ is king. God is good. What's wrong with that? I mean, it was you who just literally said people who lose their jobs for things that they don't agree you know for saying things that other people don't agree with you know is pretty much wrong but that's what happened candace owens and ben shapiro have both been going back and forth on the internet this picture came up i thought it was pretty funny i'm not gonna lie <laughs> for real uh but uh patrick uh, bet David just threw down a quarter million dollars to make this debate happen. We even got Charlie Kirk saying that he'll moderate it, but of course Ben Shapiro like, nah, I ain't trying to do none of that. We could just, you know, uh, 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 you, uh, uh, what do you say? Something like, I pretty much work but Monday through Friday between certain work hours or whatever. Anyhow, he's pretty much insinuating, hey, if you want to have this debate, come on to the show. And everybody looking at him like, hey, dog, you trying to profit off of this too, bro? And then, of course, he had a problem with the whole moderator thing. Uh, but yeah, man, let's let's watch uh, Pat talk about this. Start off by saying I am so happy the two of you guys are talking as well as agreeing to do a sit down. Obviously, the detail is the challenge where we're going to figure out. Let me give you a couple things I want you to be thinking about. One. Uh, ben, let me address your issue about what I said yesterday with the Daily Israeli Wire. I even said the Daily Jewish Wire. If you haven't watched the entire context of what I said, I'm going to put the link below. You can go watch the entire thing on what I said from the beginning to the end. I highly recommend you watch it. Secondly, why I think uh, uh, you have to know where my perspective is slightly different is I understand where you're coming from because I lived in Iran. And I fully feel the pain of some of the folks who are Christian folks, maybe living in Palestine, that don't agree with what's going on with Hamas. I understand both sides. 
And that's why I understand what Candace is saying. And I also understand why you have the position that you have. Having said that, there's a couple things I want you to be thinking about. Number one, you are Jewish. I think you're from Burbank, California, if I'm not mistaken. And you got four kids. I am Middle Eastern, Armenian, Assyrian, born in Iran. I went to Glendale, uh, California. And then we have Candace, who I believe is from White Plains, New York, with three kids. We're all family folks, right? When we come down and sit down and have the conversation together, we're in America today. So this is my proposal to you. If you're America first, we, Value Tainment, have agreed that if you want to do the sit down with us, a fair and balanced sit down, the moderating of the two of you, we will give $250,000 to Lakin Riley's family because of what's happening today with illegal immigration. It's the number one issue in America, and I think it matters to the both of you. So no matter where you live, today we're raising our kids in America. So I want to make sure we're America first. And last but not least, uh, while we're talking about this, uh, I'm going to be around for a very long time in this space. We're going to be hosting many, many different types of conversations like this. Whether you're left, center, or right, people come here, they feel safe with us, which means we're going to do a very fair uh, interview with the two of you, and uh, the details is on you to say yes or no. If not, totally understand. If you're open to it, I think I live 25 minutes away from you. Let's make this happen and unite specifically to the biggest voices in the conservative space. Take care, guys. Patrick is right. You do have two of the biggest conservative voices right now disagreeing, and I feel like it will be a great role model aspect to it for them to actually sit down and uh, have this conversation. And why not? You know, you can do it also give a, give away 200 and half a quarter million. I'm sorry to charity while doing so who wouldn't want to enjoy uh, 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 seeing that happen. And yeah, man, I think that he makes the great point of keeping America first. We all are family people. Well, not myself, but they're all, but I am, but, you get what I'm saying. They are all family people. Uh, this would be a great, this would be a great way to set a great example, not only for um, the conservative movement, for also their families and loved ones as well. Not only that, being able to dive into the heart of the issues, uh, issues that I'm not completely aware of. If I'm being honest, as I'm hearing a lot of these things right now, it all seems foreign language to me. Only because apparently. Uh, I just have to educate myself on what's really happening. Only thing I know that is apparent is we have drama between two of the biggest conservative voices uh, in the current era right now. Of course, Candace Owens, you know what I'm saying? She replied to that thing. Patrick Bet David just threw down 250K for Lincoln Riley's family to make this debate happen. And yes, Ben Shapiro did take PBD's words completely out of context. There was zero malicious intent. Um, America first. Uh, so I'm in. Amazing option to make this charitable, for sure. But of course, you got those who just saying, hey, look, uh, regardless if this debate happens or not, we ain't trying to see that, you know, two people come together and do yada yada. Just donate the money to the charity, you know what I mean? Like, let's not, let's just donate the money and skip the debate. Let's keep it the positive way as uh, some people's take. So I came across this video kind of outlining it all. Says Candace, if you, Ben Shapiro says, Candace, if you feel that taking money from the Daily Wire show somehow comes between you and God, by all means, quit. What? And she said, you are utterly out of line for suggesting that I cannot quote biblical scripture. The Bible is not about you. This goes to the whole, you know, theory of it being about her saying Jesus Christ is king or Jesus is king. Either one of the phrase, same thing, right? Um, yeah, I don't really know just yet, but blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the children of god blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake uh for theirs is the kingdom of heaven blessed are ye when men shall revile you and you know etc we'll leave it right there and ben shapiro will reply candace if you feel like oh okay so that's that's what he replied to okay well let me get, get to the let's get to the initial tweet then we're going backwards let me see uh bless our ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say manner of evil against you falsely for my sake no one can serve two masters either you will hate 
the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. I strongly feel the same way about that. So, yeah, uh, and I guess that's when uh, he replied, Candace, if you feel like taking money from the day of artists. Oh, okay, so now I'm starting to understand, y'all. It's starting to make sense to me. It's starting to click. All right, all right, I, I see what they did there. Okay, boom. So, Candace is not allowed to talk about her... Uh, uh, love for God and quote actual scripture. Is that what happening? Is that what just happened here? Is that what I'm reading? Oh man, uh man. So I'm gonna read what this, what they wrote in this tweet. The fake right is lying about Candace Owens right now. This is how the whole thing started. Candace posted a Bible verse that had nothing to do with Ben Shapiro. He took it personally, quoted her post, made a snarky comment, and Candace replied. Oh, this man petty. I'll say this. Hey man. Make it happen, dog. Stop ducking Candace Owens.